all the pieces are basically made right now and I just need to uh, do some final sanding. I like to do that by hand. There's a, a, a lot of intricate uh, pieces as far as corners and things like that. And again, I like to do it by hand. It's, it's a small piece, so it's not going to take me that long. Um, all the pieces have been scraped with the card scraper. I'm going to start at three tw or 220 and go up to 320. I may even go 400 since it's cherry. And I will be using a, a, a light dye on this to uh, get it a little bit darker. Uh, we don't want to wait to get that, that antique cherry look. So uh, it's just a matter of hand sanding all this stuff right now. Well, I've got all the pieces sanded down to 400 grit. And the reason I did that is, is cherry is very prone to blotching when you put a, a finish on it. And I didn't want that. And, and sanding down to a finer grit uh, helps prevent that blotching. It's one step. Uh, the other thing I'm going to be doing, this is the color I'm looking for. Uh, we don't want to wait 10, 15, 20 years to get this nice dark red, brownish color on the cherry that, that, that's, that the patina gets over years. So what I'm going to be doing is using this, which is potassium dichromate. And uh, you spread this on, there's actually a, a reaction to the chemicals in the wood that gives you this color. And again, uh, very little chance of it blotching. I did have to mix it with water, so after I put it on, I've got to give it a very light sanding again because the, the grain will raise up. And uh, again, I'll get this nice, nice deep red color. Well, it's been 24 hours since I put the, the chemical on here and turned it into this nice dark reddish brown. Um, I sanded it down a little bit, very lightly, with uh, 400 grit to get rid of the, 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 the grain that was raised. And now I'm going to be applying the, the first sealer finish. I'm going to be using water locks on this. It's a very nice product. It's got tongue oils and some resins in it. And after you build up four or five coats, you get a very nice hard finish. And I'll be applying wax over it. So what I really want to do for this first coat is pretty much flood the surface. Then I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours. Well, that first coat, what it's really going to help do is seal this for the subsequent coats. Uh, again, I'll put on probably anywhere between three and five coats of this, uh, and then I'll finish it off with a, with a paste wax. Well, now that I've got about six coats of the water locks on there, I should say that between the third and maybe the fifth coat, I did wet sand it with uh, 600 grit wet dry sandpaper to even it out. I've got a pretty smooth surface, I've got a nice luster to it. What I want to do is just take some uh, steel wool. I just want to go over the entire piece and I just want to flatten it out even more. I just want to make sure that any dust nibs are taken out. Now that I've knocked off any dust nibs with the steel wall, vacuumed it, blew it off with compressed air, and ran a tack cloth over it, uh, I've got all the extra dust off it. What I'm going to do for the last final thing is I'm going to put a, a coat of wax on there. I'm going to use Brie wax. This stuff is pretty strong. I don't want to use it in its full strength. So I'm going to cut it with a little bit of mineral oil, or mineral spirits, I should say, and put it on here very lightly just enough to cover the surface. I'll put it on in a nice circular pattern until I cover the whole top. Again, very thin coat. 
you don't want to put too much of this stuff on. It's very hard to get off afterwards. And after it's on, I just want to go with the grain. Smooth it all out. Make sure I've got enough on there and then do the edges last. After I've given this a few minutes to dry, probably about five minutes, just going to buff it out. A nice clean rag. After I've got this all buffed out, I've got a nice smooth surface. Actually, this is almost glass-like when I run my hands over it. Um, it's not a high gloss finish by any means, but it does have a nice shine to it. What I'll call almost a low luster finish. And you can see as I move it around in the light here, that's what I'm looking for. Not uh, super shiny. But then again, not like a satin finish either. This came out very nice. Now I just do the rest of the piece and put the top on and put the drawer in. Well, here's the finished end tables. Uh, I still should say we have to add the, the drawer hardware. We haven't picked that out yet. Uh, we will shortly. Uh, but just came out beautiful. The chemical I used to darken the wood, it just came out just right. It darkened it in the right places around the edges and such. Not so much in the middle. Makes the piece look very, very old. The uh, traditional hand rubbed oil and, and wax on the finish gave me the perfect sheen I was looking for. Um, all traditional joinery, solid hardwood drawers. They're, they're almost a piston fit. Um, again, just, just perfect. These are going to be in our family for a long time, and hopefully my, my grandchild and her grandchildren will enjoy them down the line.